Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today it is time to try out Tainted Eve. Tainted Eve is interesting. You start off with really low tier rate, but if you hold the attack button, you make a friend by using your health, and you can reach half a heart with this until you either use your item again to get your health back. Depending on how much health you use up when you use your item in the bottom right, you'll have an effect for a moment where blood is just splashing out of you and you can just create new friends without it costing hearts if you ended up using more... Like basically getting back more health than you can actually have. Because if you pick up a half a heart, you can just turn that into more damage as well. And if you genuinely have half a heart and none of these friends available, then you do get the sort of curse effect where you can use the needle as a knife instead. And it is extremely powerful, but you do need to be wary that you're only at half a heart at a time. So it gets pretty spooky. Uh, fortunately, there was half a heart in the sacrifice room at the start, so we can use that. And if we tap the attack button, we will not be using our health to turn that into more damage. So you can kind of figure out a way to get a manageable amount of health hopefully with the character with this character stuff like the leech and anything that allows you to heal in a reliable way becomes very strong because you can just turn it into more damage every single time which is obviously very good uh, the little blood clots can die uh, they have their own health bars that you can't see unfortunately but they do have them uh, so you do need to be somewhat wary that you don't accidentally destroy them because it is effectively your health that you are destroying at that point. And just like Jacob and Asao, you can hold the drop button to have them stay in place. So there is some movement potential, but it's a tricky character for sure. And it does, I'd, I'd argue, require a little bit of luck, but not a whole lot. Occasionally, they get stuck on rocks in a way that you don't, which can be tricky because you want to have them as close to you as possible pretty much at all times. But if you get a particularly bad build or just no health at all, then you can get into a world of trouble. So definitely while this character is strong in its own way, it does become rather dangerous when you have a situation such as this where the spiders can be a bit of an issue. Uh, I'm hoping that that top left spawner isn't going to be a problem and it looks like he is very good took some damage there and nearly died because i cannot actually physically get close to this spawner and it's just spawning more and more things one spider is genuinely stuck there in the corner so yeah i'm in a bit of a predicament right now i can heal up obviously by just using my item again and i think i will actually because this is just hopeless but as you can probably tell this is not ideal i i rather just have rooms that I can actually do because my tier rate as you might also be able to tell is uh, terrible <laughs> it's not good at all but fortunately through some well a large quantity of effort we've managed to do some work I'm hoping to do mega Satan this run but it's uh, not quite guaranteed with this character unfortunately mom's eye for a bomb or health both of which I don't really want to sacrifice or is not great it's not exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm desperately trying to hit with my attacks as well. But it's... Uh, I'm struggling a little bit today, as it turns out. The enemy spawners are spawning from quite a distance away, which is unfortunate. Because I'd rather they do not spawn anything at all. And usually when you stay far away, they don't really do anything. But fortunately, as long as we keep our eye on that one big spider over there, we should be okay. I'm probably not going to worry about boss rush this time around unless we get something incredible. Uh, I think your tear effects do kind of go into these little blood clots as well. So if you end up with something like scythes, then it definitely ends up just being a large quantity of scythes that you're shooting around. So that can be really strong. Uh, God, I don't know what to do about my item room, though. That is concerning me a bit. And this is also not a great room because enemies can just run around a bit and there's a lot of legs already. Ruining my escape plans a bit, but fortunately these enemies do die fairly quickly. You do need to aim a lot with this character, which uh, can be rather unfortunate. Most characters you can get away with just spamming the attacks, but with this one in particular, you really do... You need to try your best, really, and that's not my favorite thing to do in this game. Uh, I'm a little curious about this card. I kind of want to get... <sighs> Mom's Eye, I guess. Like, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. A soul heart would be really good as well, actually. 
I'm tempted to just blow up the shopkeeper and the donation machine for the sake of getting a little bit more health to work with here, actually. So I'm just going to do that. Not ideal. Um, it means that we can't get our item room right now unless we sacrifice the health. But I think I'm, will I'm okay with that kind of... Pin's not too bad. Out of all the bosses that we could have gotten, that is acceptable. Also, when we have soul hearts, we can turn all of our red hearts into little blood clots as well. So we could technically turn this into a little bit more damage as well by just holding the attack button. So with this extra layer of safety, I'd rather risk it, I think. But it's going to be a lot of I think sentences going through this play, this particular run, I'm afraid. But hopefully we're going to be okay. There we go. We got a health up, which is obviously great. Um, yeah, definitely not going to worry about anything related to doing it quickly. But we do have a large quantity of blood clots available now. So that is kind of nice. And I will just leave because I don't have any money or consumables left on this floor. So let's just keep going instead. The blood clots do follow you through floor. So that is good means we keep our attack force available. We should probably destroy all these poops because stuff like that does go rather quick when you have an army at your disposal. But it is very possible that you get a room where they just get stuck somewhere and then they can very easily die very quickly. So it can be really dangerous. I'd love some more keys. That's really something that I'm a little concerned about right now because without keys I won't be able to get item rooms, which is obviously not great. Uh, as you can see, half of them got stuck on some rocks there, and that's why it didn't work out too great there either, but fair enough. I'm going to turn just one more into that. And it does clear rooms really quickly when you have an attack force such as this, as you can see. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting character. I think I really like this character, actually. Like, I should point out, I do genuinely really enjoy this character. But it is terrifying <laughs> it can be a proper mess for sure and i don't love that too much there's two bombs over there for the price of one which i'm tempted by and stuff like this you can just shoot a whole bunch of tears and some of them will go through the edges right there usually these spiders tend to try to go between the edges as well so i'm not gonna worry about things too much i'm uh, just gonna destroy this poop i think and with my large line of Little blood clots there. Ooh, that one took some damage, unfortunately, but fair enough. What do we got? We got Bob's rotten head. Uh, Bob's brain, rather. Jeez, these items are not good. The, I mean, Bob's brain is tempting, but again, it just doesn't really work with um, the blood clots, unfortunately. I need to keep those alive. I, I, like, arguably, I could try to go for a build where Bob's brain is... An important part of the offense but I don't think it's wise <laughs> I don't think it's something that I want to go for right now in any other instance slash character I probably would but oh geez fast characters such as these are not great either especially at this point in the run where we just don't really have much of an offense I think ah oh, damn I was gonna say I think I might be able to go into that curse room but unfortunately um, it doesn't appear to be so unless I want to take the damage because because the boss room is over there so the secret room is not going to be next to the curse room unfortunately not in any good way at least so let's just take our time here we could get one more bomb at least by um, blowing up the rocks over here uh, so I'll just do that and I think my secret room is probably next to this room right here yeah it almost certainly is so uh, Let's try and take this. A little tempted to go to my shop, even though my money situation is pretty bad. This is not bad, actually. Uh, it just shows me where secret... No, it didn't show me where secret rooms are, unfortunately. I don't even have a key. I can't even do that. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to play dumb strats. <laughs> We're going to play regrettable strategies, I think. Because, uh, I mean, Bob's brain is not bad if you know how to use it. But it is combined with the mess that is all these little blood clots over here and i think it's gonna end up badly but we're gonna see it is little horn so that's not too big of a deal uh, provided i hit an attack with bob's brain here i do need to of course hit and right now bob's brain is doing its best to avoid everything that works as well 
Wow. Yeah, genuinely nothing is hitting, unfortunately. Cannot hit the ball when it's close to me. There we go. All right, dog food, not terrible. I uh, also got to make sure to basically just... Um, basically create blood clots when I'm not in a room with enemies because Bob's brain is going to mess that up for me, I think. <laughs> I'm also just waiting for it to come back so I can more safely do some of the rooms in this game. There we go. This is gonna be a wacky one, I can tell that one at least, but... It's it's going, it's going. Still would like some more keys for sure, but... As you can see how long it's taken me to kill a mushroom, I'm a little concerned about my situation. Rooms like this is fine because they don't take damage from spikes. Full card is not too bad. Uh, no, this is not a great room. If only because of all these holes, it makes it very art, like very icky to move around. So I'm just gonna use my range to my advantage. I think use Bob's brain as well. Hopefully, you can use Bob's brain to take care of one of these. There we go. Right, get that guy back in here. <laughs> It's a little bit tricky, kind of like with Jacob and Asao, it's a little bit trickier to dodge with your whole essence effectively just because there's so much of you throughout the room and you can't get stuck so easily. But so far this floor is pretty nice, there hasn't been any keys unfortunately, which I don't love. And one of my guys got stuck there, but I think I can do the rest of this room without a thing in the middle doing anything, so that's good. Oh boy, this is not ideal, but not impossible. Fortunately, they decided not to pincer me in the end, so that was kind of nice of them. Uh, if this is Bombs or Key, I'd actually be pretty happy about that. That's not something I'm very happy with. Not at all. Not at all. There we go. Bob's brain pulling through. Very good. They're all just going all over the place. I'm tempted to wait for my I'm Excited pill to activate again before going to the next room, because I think otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. I think it does activate if I just wait the 30 seconds. And it should be fairly obvious when it activates as well. Yeah, there we go. And then I can just quickly run to the next room. I think it'll activate one more time. Uh, this is pretty great because it's a lot of offense. I do have... Uh, some stuff to work with now. There is a tinted rock over there. There we go. You can turn this into a lot of extra firepower, so that's good. I'm gonna just quickly check for my super secret room. It's not there, really. That's actually surprising. <laughs> my I'm excited pill activated one more time there, so that's good. Boom. Bob's brain to the rescue. You can also turn soul hearts into attackers as well, and they look slightly different from the red ones, obviously, but I'd rather just keep my soul hearts right now. I'd rather just play it as safe as I can. Kind of, as I <laughs> remove all my health from my existence. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, that's part of the conjoined transformation, and it at least deals some damage, I guess. It's not ideal, but... I don't know if conjoined affects all of these, but it would be really nice if it did. Yeah, definitely not gonna go for boss rush with this. If we had like some items that we could play with, then I'd be more tempted for sure. But as it stands, we are just not getting much. So we're just gonna play it safe. Once again, Book of Secrets didn't show me my secret room. It, it has a random mapping effect when you use it. So it's either the full map, the compass or the blue map. And uh, I'm not especially being lucky, but I guess my secret room might be next to the shop right there. Uh, I guess that also means I should use this Fool card uh, over here. I'm actually just real quickly, just because of the layout of the room, going to check over here because... Okay, it is over there. I'm happy I didn't use the Fool card then. Use that. Blow up the Shopkeeper as well for a little bit more Angel Room chance. One more Soul Heart. Definitely worthwhile. Also happy that I didn't take damage to get that because I don't think that would have been worthwhile. All right. Oh my god, it actually closed when I got rid of my last red heart. <laughs> I didn't think it worked that way, but fair enough. With 10 coins, I can buy hearts, which is worth. And that's pretty much it. I could buy a bomb. Yeah, just in case, I think. I wouldn't have minded the pickaxe, but unfortunately just didn't have the money for it. 
And I, I don't know where my super secret room is, but I'm guessing like left of the shop. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna just check that real quick because if it's one of those super secret rooms with like eight red hearts in it, that's obviously incredible. So I'm actually just gonna check this out right here. Yes, okay, good. And it's not what I was hoping for. <laughs> oh, that's rough. That's not what I want to see at all. If I had one more bomb, then it would have been nice because then I could have just destroyed the beggar there. But unfortunately, I spent everything on everything. So, yeah, fair enough. The husk. That's okay. The husk does die fairly quickly to bombs, but unfortunately, I had to use my Bob's brain on a random spider. So, fair enough. Just try to keep him away from me, I think. Try to do as much as I can here. There we go. Bob's brain taking care of the rest. And even if we did get an angel room there, I wouldn't have been able to blow up the angel statue, so that wouldn't have been ideal. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly check that room with the pill and the cards, because I'm not 100% sure why I left them behind. And I'd like to know for sure. Yeah, I kind of figured as much, but I just, just needed to be certain <laughs> on that front. Because I can really use just about anything. At least we know which pill is I'm excited, so that's kind of nice info. But if there's a full health pill in my pill pool right now, that would obviously be really good as well. Okay, so I'd like to have some bombs. We don't have a map, which I don't love, but fair enough. It's manageable so far. Provided I can just keep everything away from me. <laughs> we do have a lot of tears coming out of us right now, so we do have that going for us. That is a spike chest. I uh, lost one of my blood clots there, I think, but Bob's brain managed to deal a decent amount of damage there, so that's good. One bomb, so if we do get an angel room, then we can at least do something there for the purposes of getting Mega Satan. There we go. Yeah, Bob's brain is... I'm actually not disappointed by my decision to take Bob's brain so far. <laughs> so far, it is working out, and I can appreciate that at least. Because it, it can get so messy if you're not very careful with Bob's brain at all times. Then you can just so easily take so much damage. But when it's a core part of your offense, then you don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> Come on. Can probably like maneuver these blood clots using this hole. Yeah, to just sit over here instead. So you can use some strategy as well. God. I'm not... Overly satisfied with the items we're getting, though. Uh, there might be a secret room over here. There's almost certainly a secret room over there. I don't have any money. So that's not ideal. Uh, throw Bob's brain at one of them. And we created the bridge for the other one, interestingly enough. So, fair enough. So, we can get that. I can check for my secret room because I have two bombs now. And there's the boss. I'd love to get a little bit more angel room chance. So I think I might just blow this up. Also blow up the uh, donation machine again, I think. Just for the sake of getting a little bit more health. Wow. <laughs> the minimum amount of coins. Very good. Uh, I don't think I want that battery, even though it's not terrible. And I'm gonna guess there's probably not going to be a beggar on this floor. So I'm just gonna... Frail, that's not immediately horrendous, but not my favorite for sure. There we go. Now I just need to be very careful not to lose all of my blood clots to brimstone. Or that, that would also do it, yeah. And there we go. Not an angel room, very cool, okay. We did get a large amount of health back, at least, from that item over there, so at least we got that going for us, but we are running out of rooms, or out of floors, rather, to get angel rooms on if we can only get it at 100%, so this is getting a little worrying. I am going to explore the rest of this floor, because uh, I think it's worthwhile for the consumables. I definitely have enough bombs now to check out my secret room, and if I do end up finding a beggar, then, I mean, that's on me. I'm not... This bone heart is never going to happen. <laughs> I think you can get a bone heart, um, like, blood clot, but I'm not exactly sure. There is, like, a video that shows up all the different kinds of little clots that you can get. 
to deal extra damage for you and they all have like their own little positives like eternal hearts have like sacred heart tears or something like that and then there's a couple which are just bad so i think rotten heart ended up just being really terrible but i don't fully remember i just know that if i have red hearts i'm gonna turn it into attack and that's really the main thing okay got one of the pins with bob's brain losing a bit of my clots here to these guys but it's okay it's okay no, it's not that okay, actually. I'm losing a lot of these now. <laughs> it's genuinely taken quite a while to get rid of four of these heads, surprisingly enough. I could probably, again, maneuver the blood clots in a way that they're not going to be attacking the blood clots because they're just so far away from me, but it's not easy to do. This room is pretty free, at least, so that's kind of nice. That's usually when I start taking damage all over the place when I say stuff like that, but... Hopefully it'll be okay this time around. I guess if we can get Mama Mega, then we still at least have a chance for um, for a boss rush or something like that. But I think that's basically my only chance for this run. And I'm not sure if I really want to do boss rush with a build like this, if I'm being real. Because, God, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling to get anywhere with this right now. Alright, this is just regular jumpy ones. They don't jump high, so that's good. But I'm not exactly getting interesting rooms, unfortunately. Getting a couple consumables here and there, but that's about it. More eternal hearts appear is not terrible. Ah, uh, God. If I had that trinket that would turn troll bombs into, uh, <laughs> into regular bombs, that would be ideal. But unfortunately, it's not the case. Uh-huh. Yep. Open that first, just in case one of these is like telepills. Are you a wizard? Does that... I mean, it affects Eve, but not nothing else. Speed down. God. Not a great pill pool, not great items. What more can we have in a not great fashion? <laughs> I guess cards. Cards could be bad, but we got a full card already, so at least we had that going for us, but jeez. Occasionally, the game just does not feel like being nice, and today is one of those days, it seems. Tempted by the trinket, actually, but nah, I'm just gonna move on. At least on the next floor, we'll have a 100% angel room chance, so we got that going for us. There is that secret room over here, which is almost certainly a secret room. Not terrible either. Could be money. It actually is money. It actually is a decent amount of money as well. Alright, that's cool. That is good. Um, using Cracked Key is a little tempting, but I probably shouldn't. Do I know what pill this is? No. Alright. I think I'm just gonna move on. I could check for a super secret room, because I think it's basically to the right of this room. It's virtually guaranteed, I feel, so I'm just gonna give this one shot. We will still have one bomb remaining afterwards. It is over there. Good. And it does have a large quantity of red hearts, so that is pretty good. We're just going to wait here for a minute as I turn everything into damage. Accidentally dropped my trinket because I'm holding the uh, button, but that's okay. But this is a lot. This is exactly the kind of super secret room I wanted, so at least we, had, we have that going for us. Just going to turn all of this into attack. 21 minutes already. Probably not going to reach boss rush in time. It's unlikely, I feel. It's been a while since I've seen this one, actually. Fair enough. Very good. We've been blessed. This is where the run becomes interesting. Okay, secret room's over there. We finally got a secret room one, so that's good. Gotta be very careful with this. Don't want to lose all of my damage to one brimstone attack, and I feel like that's definitely a possibility. At least these do die fairly quickly, so that's good. That's not a problem, provided Bob's rotten head goes, but fortunately it did. Bob's brain, not rotten head. Ooh, charge penny. Do I care that much? Not really. <laughs> I mean, we haven't seen this one before, but I wouldn't mind eternal hearts just for the better things. I don't care. Let's just get this. Let's just recharge our Book of Secrets and try to get as much mapping as possible. I actually don't hate that idea either. Come on. There you go. 
Bob's brain is <laughs> the MVP of this build. <laughs> Bob's brain and the fact that I've just gotten a lot of hearts. That, that's, that's been carrying this run ever so slowly and carefully. My damage is 420, which is... Uh, is it base damage? I think it is, right? I wouldn't be surprised, at least, if it is base damage. My tier rate hasn't gone up. My speed has gone down, but it has gone up once, so it's at least above base speed, I'm fairly sure. But overall, it's just... It's been a lot of work. <laughs> Are you a wizard? Very good pills as well. That's tempting, actually, but I probably shouldn't. Um, no keys, no bombs. Mm, in a room like this, which I don't love. Just trying to do as much damage as possible in as little shots as possible. There we go. At least I didn't have to go to the center of this room. That really ended up helping out a lot, but... It's still a pretty nasty room with a couple of those diagonal shooting bastards, but yeah, fair enough. She was a key. Are you serious? Although Maggie's bow is very good. I need a bomb. <laughs> uh, I, I do really want to have that item, though. Because that is going to help out a lot in terms of getting damage. This is a nasty room, by the way. In terms of trying to get through this with my damage being what it is. Alright, we got a bomb, so I can at least get this. Not sure if this heals me in any way, but I'm just gonna... I mean, it doesn't say that it heals me other than plus one health up. And it does heal, so it's... Uh, uh, it's just slightly incomplete, I suppose, but that's fair enough. We ended up... Getting an extra red heart out of it that I didn't expect, and I'm happy about that, so... Fair enough. At least it's fairly obvious that that does happen. Uh, no... Of course, one of the skulls had an enemy inside it. That's not ideal. Just this room in general is pretty horrendous, but now at least half hearts are giving me full hearts instead, so... It is a little bit of extra damage every single time. Ah, oh, jeez. Get out of here with this nonsense. Wow, that's all my blood clots gone pretty much in one room. Because it was just a particularly nasty room. I probably should have just used my, um, my needle there, but no well. Too late for that, unfortunately. We have Bob's brain instead. And that is just going to be our attack for a while. I guess the fly is going to work reasonably well as well. But we don't have a lot to work with currently. Let's see if greed's here. No greed, but not really much of a shop either. <laughs> um, should I keep Book of Secrets? We're not really getting anything good, but my pill pool's also pretty terrible. Especially if I can only get Are You a Wizard pills for the rest of my life, but who knows? Maybe we can make this work somehow. I'm actually just going to eat these for now. Do I only have one clot remaining? Really? Oh, wow. That's that's not great. <laughs> uh, that's not good. But at least now I can just play the game like Isaac for a bit, but just with exceptionally low tier rate. <laughs> that was a good hit that I took there. All right. We got an extra charge from that, so that's good. I'm trying to get... Bob's brain to help me out a bit here. There we go. We got a card. Fool card. We could use that to go into my curse room. I'm sort of amazed how little consumables we're actually getting this run, but yeah, what are you going to do? Technically, that was good. Was that two hearts, actually, because of Maggie's bow? I'm actually not sure if that works that way. Can you stop? <laughs> Can you stop putting enemies in every skull, though? Because, jeez... I don't need this. I don't need this negativity in my life. Just trying to do the most I can with this fly over here. <laughs> that's gonna have to be our damage. I do have a second bomb now, so that's good. I'm actually just gonna clear this entire floor. Ten coins for some damage. It's genuinely tempting, actually. It's a lot of money. Uh, this is awkward. There we go. Now it's less awkward. Trying to get the fly in there without me dying to the other one. There we go. Another red heart, which I don't mind. 
Mmm, don't like this room. Oh, well, after you kill one, it's not really much of a room anymore, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Another pill. Lock down. Part of our incredible pill pool that has been nothing but joy. Okay, that's a room. That is a room. Okay. We're gonna be here for a moment. While I hold my attack button. Uh, let's see. No, it's only one soul heart that I'm getting out of soul hearts, but... This is still not bad for my particular purposes, but it does gonna take a minute. I might just uh, not do it all the way, but at least a decent while, and after killing the boss, just do the rest of this. Because I would like to have as much as possible for the next floor. And I think Bob's Rotten Head is probably capable of dealing with whatever we're gonna deal with here. So, let's just do this for a little longer. There we go. What do we got? We got Brownie. That should be fairly doable with Bob's brain as well. But also something that I can very much see myself losing some blood clots on, so I'm not too bothered about not doing the entire super secret room there. Because this is a lot of things to look at. <laughs> Alright, that's good. We've got some hearts from that as well, which is lovely. Might have to try to get that soul heart for sure, but... There you go. Ooh, that's good as well. All right, we're gonna have a lot of attack power for the next floor, at least. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? I think this? Don't hit this. Uh, you know what? Let's just turn all of them. Now we got four of those little white ones. And I'm sure they're gonna help out just fine. They should deal, like, slightly more damage than the other ones, I do believe. Alright, let's do this. Oh, one of my blood clots got stuck there, but that's fine. Just gonna stick to the bottom of this room, I think. And I think if I just keep doing this, it'll not really do too much. Gotta make sure not to get the brimstone to go through my clots, but other than that... There we go. Unfortunately, there is not an angel room item in there, which doesn't help. Uh, this is going to give me... Oh, I should have turned more of my soul hearts into blood clots, actually, thinking about it, but no. Because well. that's four soul hearts right there that I could have had otherwise. Anyway, I hope you're all enjoying yourself. I'm just going to be here for a minute while uh, we uh, ponder about life for a moment here, because... I'd like to be as strong as possible, and the build doesn't really allow that. We should have, like, one little blue one somewhere in the in the mix, I think, as well. Yeah, there's a blue one. There's a couple blue ones there, because I held it for a little bit too long there by accident. But we're making a large quantity of friends that we'll almost certainly lose in a singular room. But hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Uh, I'm still kind of tempted by the challenge room, if only to just get a bomb, because there are none. There aren't bombs in this seed. I don't know what's going on, but they are not showing up too much. Um, and I think I might just go out with full red hearts at the end here. Because this is pretty much going to be unmanageable anyway, so I wouldn't mind to just go like this. Uh, if I can get through the door. <laughs> okay. So hopefully, we can get one more angel room, so we can actually finish our key. We have a big old blob of attack available, so I'm hoping that's going to work out. The unfortunate thing is that we're just not guaranteed from this point on to get angel rooms, and that is, that is unfortunate because it took so long to get an angel room in general, so that doesn't bode well, but we might be lucky. If not, then, you know, we did our best, but it would be really nice tempted by that machine if we end up needing more money. No! <laughs> that was looking real rough, but I think it worked out okay. Yeah, look at this amount of- look at this barrage of tears that is coming out of me right now. That is at least clearing rooms a bit, which I can appreciate. Shot speed down, another great pill. If we can buy PhD, I'd be actually be so happy because the pill pool is exclusively bad. It's incredible, actually, but... I was kind of hoping to get at least some good pills in there, but it's not. <laughs> it's not been good pills. Let's move that away from me. 31 minutes, depths too, pretty good. 
And it's not, it's, this character is not always like this. You, like, you can definitely have a good build with this character. That's so freaking annoying. <laughs> I don't have a bomb yet. I can't do anything with this because I have no way to detonate a bomb. To my knowledge. If I could blow a bomb's brain somehow over there, that would be ideal. <sighs> God, are you kidding me? At least there is an angel room, so if it does open up, we got that going for us. But I genuinely did not expect that to happen. And that's so frustrating. <laughs> that is such a taunt. That's such an annoying taunt is what that is. There's a spot. Oh, that's creep in there. Fair enough. Well, I'm just not even going to try to get close to these. They can just go to me instead. Don't care for that room. Uh, I do hope we find a bomb somewhere and get that angel room, though, because that was not something I had anticipated. <laughs> At least we know there is an angel room on this floor, but it's still... Is it good knowledge if we're not going to be able to open it? Oh, there is a positive pill in my pill pool, so that's good. There is at least something there, but... Oof. If I would taken the Bible, I would have been able to get that golden chest, which might have been a good idea, but... Oh, well. Doesn't matter. There is some... We have a golden key, so we can at least get these. This is not ideal, but these will die eventually. Uh, that'll work. Bob's rotten brain doing the work again. Just getting some blood clots to <laughs> go to the right places at this point, so I don't have to worry so much. But simultaneously, I don't really want to get him off screen, because then I can just lose him by accident as well, so that's not great. <sighs> but we have two bombs. We have some keys. We have an item room with tech. Okay. Also, notice how every single item room has been the one with spikes or rocks in front of it, so about to bomb everything. Okay, yeah, this is looking more like it. This is looking like it might be effective. Justice card. Another soul heart. Is this effective? Is this doing damage? Some money there, so that's good. Might have just been the kind of awkward layout of that room, but... Infested? Got a bomb back. A lot of soul hearts on this floor, so that's good. I can turn at least some of these soul hearts into blood clots. I can go into my curse room. Which, if any of those are a teleport to the angel room, that'd be lovely. <laughs> I do like the way this looks now, though. <laughs> Even if it's not that strong, it just looks aesthetically pleasing. And sometimes it does appear to clear the room fairly well, so... We have that going for us. Infested? I think that's still good if we killed enemies in the room, so that's fine. <laughs> this will just be regular hands, I think. Very good. Greed. Yeah, the damage is alright if it hits. Some of them don't always seem to hit, it turns out. Ooh, 50% off at the final floor of the game. How nice. I haven't found my secret room yet. Um, which I'm not loving. Because I... Oh, no, I have found my secret room. Okay, so I can at least deal with that. I can get this for one bomb. Was that a good idea? Okay, we got a bomb back. I just realized that... Okay, we have opened our secret room as well. So I can blow up the shopkeeper. Uh, and still have a bomb left as well, regardless of what I do here. Um, yeah, this is too much effort. Let's just <laughs> leave that curse room. I was trying to find a way to make that work without taking any damage, but it's just it was too much to think about. All right, so please, <laughs> please open the door. I would be so happy if the door opened. I'm actually, I'm going to try to get some bombs from this, I think. Oh, I need to actually be really careful with this. This is a very good way to lose out on many blood clots, I think. Yep. I'm also almost certainly going to blow up this guy. Okay, we got some bombs. That's really the only thing I wanted. I just wanted some bombs. So we got that going for us, so fair enough. Uh, if I really wanted to, I can turn this into blood clots, but it would re require a lot of work, and I don't really want to do that. So, with that, once again... 
please, <laughs> please open the angel room door. I'd be so appreciative. If not, I'm going to be a little cranky. I'm not going to lie. Oh, good. All my blood clots are somewhere. Just try to put that right back again. That sort of spread everyone out as well, but we're doing okay damage. We're clearing out most of what she spawns, and of course it didn't. <sighs> That's so annoying. <laughs> that is genuinely the most annoying thing I've had happen in a while, I feel. Like, that's not my own mistake, at least. Well, you could argue that was my mistake, because I opened a red chest before I had bombs, and I could have prepared for that, and I didn't, but... Uh... <laughs> Not happy about that one. I really do hope we get at least one more angel statue. If need be, I could probably do something with a sacrifice room as well. Because, let's be real, I have a million health walking around me, but we'd end up losing out on so much damage. And also, I'd have to find a sacrifice room is, is another thing. But if there is a sacrifice room on this floor and we're not getting one, like we're not getting uh, one more angel room to open, then I think I have to. If I want to do Mega Satan, then I think that's pretty much the only route I can take, unfortunately. Which is fine. I, if I just leave a lot of health on the floor, then that's perfectly manageable. I should look around for some stuff at least. There is half a heart on this floor. And I should at least verify that there is even a sacrifice room. There's still a couple floors remaining where there could be one at least, so that's good. But, ugh. Ugh. Puberty. Not immediately terrible. I do like that I got tech though. Tech has been helping out a lot, I feel, at least with getting as much as possible to hit. I'm a little concerned about this. Oh, but I don't think the rocks actually dealt damage to the blood clots. That was my main worry there, but I think it was it was fine. Yeah, look at that. It just clears them out so quickly now. All we needed was one item and a just ridiculous amount of health in one super secret room. Which it does happen rather frequently that you get those red hearts um, super secret rooms. So it's not even like the weirdest thing to happen or to go for really. With this character I would argue. Oh boy. Oh no. Ooh, that was a little close. Are you a wizard? Not sure if that affects tech actually. Vaguely curious to at least try. It does not affect tech at all. Okay. Worryingly, though, I haven't found a sacrifice room. <laughs> there is some red hearts on this floor. There is probably a secret room over here, which I'm just going to check out. Yep. Well, there are my bombs. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to reroll that in any weird way. That could have been a dice room, but you know what? I'm just tired of looking for bombs in this run. And I'm okay with having 99 of them. To make life easier on myself. That's a good place. Let's just run through this. A challenge room. Two great chests, not as tempting anymore now that I have this quantity of bombs. Since I no longer especially need those consumables. And the golden bomb as well. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes, isn't it? One floor you get zero bombs or just bombs too late. The other one you get literally the maximum amount that you could possibly ask for. It has to be one or the other. <laughs> I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> I truly do. It is genuinely evil at times. It's sort of incredible how the game can do this. <laughs> and there's not even a sacrifice room on this floor. So that's not ideal. We can at least turn some of these red hearts into more damage. And I guess we're just gonna sit around here for a moment. For the sake of doing that, there's another half heart over there and two more hearts in the bottom left. And I will genuinely go for that. Uh, don't think red poops damage anything at least, so that's good because I was not being careful about that. 
Not even slightly. I could blow up some of these rocks as well that can contain hearts as well. Like, not that. Uh, whichever rock is available, really. There, there probably are some rocks. Yeah, the one that's like over here. It can either be tears. It can either be, I think, a follower as well. And occasionally you get like some good stuff as well. You get some hearts out of it, which could be good, uh, at least for our damage sake, for sure. I'd also like to find my super secret room uh, as well. But any of these rocks could theoretically have something good. I'm not sure. There was like an item you can get out of these things as well, but I'm not exactly sure which one it is. Was it like placenta or something? It was one he is. I'm not sure which one. I'm actually gonna see if my super secret room is over here. It wouldn't have been too strange, but I would like to find that. Because I think that would be helpful. And since I have infinite bombs to work with right now anyway, there we go. I think we're about to face Mr. Fred, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Just because it's a big room, there's just not that many bosses that were options. Really? Sometimes it is kind of amazing how you just launch this red barrage of death and then somehow it still just goes past everything. Also, how uh, <laughs> the doors are just not opening. Like, it's sort of incredible. Uh, let's take that. I'm just going to go, I think. Yeah. I could go for my curse room. I should actually go for my curse room, I think, because we're going to get one soul heart back there anyway. And there is technically a chance there's like a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> there, there was technically a chance that there could have been something in there, like a red chest to teleport me into my devil deal, angel room, whatever. Twas not to be. Uh, also, super secret rooms can contain angel statues as well, so that's another reason why I should at least be looking for those. Because, uh, uh, yeah, there's just a lot of ways to get angels. But only a handful that are fully reliable, unfortunately. But we do, we are going to get a door to open, provided I don't take too much damage on this floor. So that's at least something. It is something we can work with, which I can appreciate. We are clearing out this room slowly but surely, even though we're not really seeing what we're attacking. <laughs> 19 keys might as well go in here. Uh, two of clubs duplicates my bombs. Very good. Luck down. Very good. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's just hold this for the sake of not holding anything else. That's terrible. And I should probably create more blood clots, but I'd, I'd rather just have the health available in case, once again, there is a sacrifice room on this floor. Because with a sacrifice room, I can at least guarantee Mega Satan. And I think that's worthwhile. But I do need to get one. I think my secret room might be here, actually. That'd be nice. We could go into the challenge room, maybe. Nope. Never mind. It was not to be. Perhaps over here. I might as well try everything. We have about 200 bombs. <laughs> well, about 150 bombs at our disposal with what we got. So might as well just bomb genuinely every wall in the game. Uh, to try and find something here. I uh, don't like you, Red Eye. Fortunately, Bob's rotten brain is... Uh, Bob's brain, rather, not the rotten brain. But the brain in some capacity is there to save the day at times. Not sure how creep affects my blood clots, but I doubt they get hit by it. It's not really a substantiated doubt, but I feel like I would have lost more if creep affected it. Because spikes don't seem to hurt them. So there is that as well. I don't like this room. I've never liked this enemy type, really. I think there has never been a time where I was like, yeah, this one. <laughs> Finally, we get to fight more of these bastards. That, that's never really been my thought process for some reason. There we go. Super greed. Fair enough. 25 coins could theoretically be good. Could have tried to reroll that with a dice room or something like that. But, oh well. No worries. Please give me a sacrifice room, though. Because I... 
can predict the future when it comes to which door is going to open with this 62-37 split. And it is not going to be the one that I would like, is, is my guess. So, really, any way to guarantee that would be ideal. Thank you. Thanks, game. Pins. Oh my goodness, Bob's brain finally fought against me and it... It <laughs> destroyed so many, so many blood clots. Oh no, there's a tinted rock here though. With a golden chest. With something that does, I think, nothing, so cool. Uh huh. Good, please be nice to me, game. I'm excited. The one pill in my pill pool. I'm not sure why, on many occasions, my. Little blood clots appear to not be firing. But I think I'm just asking for a little bit too much from them right now, and I can understand that they're a little bit on edge because of it. This is not good. This is not good. Maybe they're just attacking the wall. Oh, they are attacking the wall, yeah. Oh, that's annoying. I should probably just do the boss right now while I still have some blood clots left. Um Thinking about it, I probably should just turn a lot of my hearts into blood clots since there is some health on the floor and I can always just turn it back into regular hearts anyway. So that doesn't sound too strange of an idea. I'm gonna look for my super secret room though. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Over here perhaps. Very good. One eternal heart. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna just get some attack force going. Could get another eternal heart blood clot, I guess, but I think this will be fine. Let's go to like this amount of health. Uh-huh, yep. That went exactly as I intended it to. Which is to say it didn't. <laughs> I did not expect my blood clots to be in a very different location for myself there, and I suppose that one is on me. Because I assume that happens every single time you do this fight. And I'm not left with a lot here, unfortunately. But that's fine, Bob's Rotten Head is doing all the work that they cannot. And I am very rapidly losing them, so I'm just gonna go like this for a minute, I think. It's the old classic exclusively use Bob's brain to attack things strategy. Come on. It is an angel room. My prayers have been heard <laughs> this day. Okay, let's just do this. It is the blue one, which is fine. I don't really need blood clots to attack this one, but my tier rate is base tier rate for Tainted Eve. And apparently my aim, or my dodging, has left my body somewhere throughout the 13 hours of this run. But fortunately, poison destroyed the boss there, so that's good. Okay, um, what do we got to play with here? I can get the eternal heart. I can get some hearts on this floor. There is still some floor remaining as well. Even if I find a dice room now that would allow me to reroll my build, I don't think it's even a good idea. Because I feel like tech is worth its weight in gold effectively right now, and I really need to keep that in some way. It's just a little fiddly. <laughs> it is a lot more work, and god, my pill pool. I don't know why I took this item. <laughs> I don't know why I took this item with me, because it is not paying out. Book of Secrets almost certainly would have been a better choice than what I've chosen here, because, jeez, it is not doing anything for me here. Ay, 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 I do have a lot of bombs. I could just use bombs more offensively, I suppose. And there is the sacrifice room I was asking for for a while there. I could play this, but it's not great, is it? Let's see, this is four red hearts, that's a soul heart. Uh, there's an eternal heart over there, that's six red hearts, eight red hearts. I think there is a lot of red hearts on this floor right now. Just because all my hearts are getting duplicated as well. 
So let's grab this. And then there's one red heart over here. This feels bad, isn't it? Yeah. Was the challenge room any good or was that just a, a boss one? It was a boss one. And I think if I like basically just turn all my health into blood clots, it's, it might actually open thinking about it. That wouldn't be too weird, actually. I'm going to try it for a minute. Just to see if it actually works, because I can just turn all my... Afterwards, I can just turn all my blood clots back into health again if after I go through the door. So if this does work, then I'm golden, and if it doesn't work, then I'll just turn it back again, so that's fine. Just gonna shoot the wall here for a moment, don't mind me. I think I have to go all the way to one heart. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I've seen my pill pool. I don't need to bother with this nonsense anymore. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's just eat all of that then. And I'm a little curious about something, actually. i just keep one of you. And then take some damage here. And then a little more, obviously. And what if I now use this? Yeah, it's just regular health. Fair enough. I feel blessed. Very good. One red chest. Or regular chest, rather. Very good. Very good. A teleportation to my angel room. I did ask for that at some point throughout this run, so... Well, more or less. I guess I didn't technically ask for that. Alright, good. Um... Okay. <laughs> I could try and go for the many soul hearts, but it's probably just going to be money again. I'm just going to try it, actually. You know what? When in doubt, make worse decisions. That's that's that old classic saying. This is rough. Get rid of that. It's a lot of money. Yep, of course it is. Of course it's money. <laughs> what, what did I expect? Ah, God. Genuinely, every single part of this run has been a struggle. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm just gonna try and blow some of these up for health, actually. Yeah, there we go. Because this should heal me up a little bit if I just blow up all of them. There's at least... Like, they can explode into tears as well, but they can also explode into hearts, so that's good. That is, um... I mean, it's a trinket. It is a trinket. But we are just going to go on a little voyage here to see if we can find any more of those particular rocks for us to turn into potential health drops. This is a pretty, pretty dire situation. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm, it's rare that I bother to go this far for trying to get my health back, but it's a strategy. Like, it does technically work. It's just not ideal. I genuinely wouldn't mind getting like a two of hearts or something like that as well. I think that would be really useful. There we go. Blood clot. A little bit of extra damage occasionally. Plus, I believe it's progress towards picking up the blood clot item uh, ten times or something like that. And I think we haven't done that yet. So, good. Uh, there is a large quantity of troll bombs waiting for me here. Uh, I'm just trying to make something happen. Oh my god, there's a good pill in my pill pool. Okay, that does change things a bit. Because full health is valuable. That is very valuable. If we can get another one of those, that would be ideal. Because that's so many blood clots with the amount of red hearts that I have. It... Uh, it does actually make the challenge room a little tempting as well, but I don't think I can be bothered. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I do not think that that is something I can put my heart into right now. And this is all just garbage as well. All right. Let's create a couple blood clots here, and then I'm just going to be on my way. Downstairs. Down, 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 down. Onwards to glory. I do hope we can get another full health pill. That would really help me out. But given how, mu how long it took to find even one of those, I'm not hedging my bets on that one, unfortunately. Q. 
key beggar. That's tempting. I'm gonna leave you alone for now, but... I appreciate your presence. Oh, Jesus, what is happening here? Ugh. Not sure what Bob's brain hit there, but... It was not what I was aiming for. To put it mildly. This is a room. Ah, God. That's most of them at least. There we go. Losing my blood clots here at a fairly rapid pace, but then you have rooms like this where it's not too bad. And then you have the, t the double low-key room. Of course, there is a double low-key room. Which, yeah, fair enough. I suppose if there was any place with a double low-key room, it would be this, huh? But this is going to take a minute, unfortunately. I'm tempted to just, yeah, just to eat everything. Because I don't think blood clots are going to help me out much here as much as Bob's brain is going to. Ah. Just trying to place a bomb there, but... Did open my secret room, apparently. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Bob's brain is doing work here. Please don't leave. Thank you. Bombs are helping out. But it is a little annoying to not be able to use my blood clots because they're, they're just going to shoot rocks and die. <laughs> There's just too many tears to reliably dodge here, unfortunately. And I could probably uh, make something happen here with bombs, but I'm struggling to get close to them because the moment one of them stops shooting, the other one starts. So it's tricky for sure. The poison damage is doing a little bit here as well. Just put that down there, and he leaves. Do at least have that two of clubs available, so even if we are running low on bombs, that's fine. And the little fly ended up doing some damage there as well. Health up. It's not terrible, especially with that full health pill in the pool. That's not great. <laughs> this character could have a coupon. <laughs> We're going for all that. Technically, this could be a thing that could happen to strategies, and... I'm not minding it. There we go. Bob's... God, Bob's brain, though, has done so much for me this run, and I should actually wait for it to come back every time I go into a new room here. Because it's genuinely is such a big source of my damage on these floors. But then you have stuff like this. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Getting through it, but we're... I need to be very patient with Bob's brain here. Uh, that's good. Ended up hitting one of them, so that's nice. He's just gonna go back. Really? I don't know how these enemies move, I'm starting to realize, because I'm making some weird movement decisions here. Look down. Come on. Give me them black hearts. Give me them super secret rooms with many a red heart. Give me anything. Please stop having me work so hard for this run. I'm so tired. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to do a little Isaac run with Tainted Eve. It can go anywhere. It can really go anywhere with this character. That's the thing. Can you please stop with the troll bombs as well? <laughs> like occasionally you'll do a run with this character and there's no problems at all. And then you have a run like this where it's like, well, time to wait for Bob's brain to come back before I can go into the next room. Because it's my only line of offense. And I am losing more and more health the further we go down this floor, which is not great. Because there's no hearts on this floor. <laughs> that could be good. Looking for my super secret room. Any heart drop would be good as well, because it does count for double health, as, has, uh, as it has for a while now. And I might just play with the uh, key beggar as well, just to at least try to get some chests that could maybe drop some health as well. That'll be lovely. But for now, just gonna sit here and play with some ghosts. <laughs> just hanging out. There we go. Sticking with small rooms for now because it will charge up my thing. I was really hoping that brimstone was gonna do a little bit more there, but fair enough. Okay, Bob's brain spawned a little bit late there, so didn't end up using it immediately, but it worked out. Tears up. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the first tears up that I've had this run. Oh jeez. Okay. That's the kind of run we're playing. But look at this. The tier 8 has 
it feels like it has doubled. <laughs> it is genuinely so much better now. God, that's all we needed. <laughs> <laughs> really, to at least have a little bit more offense. We didn't get a single tears up this run. I didn't even realize. Ah, oh, jeez. That's the way it is sometimes, but still. It took me a, a minute to realize that this was my first tears up. <laughs> Come on, brain. There you go. Ah, oh, Monstro, too. What a, what a trip. What a nice treat to get right now. At least, it's not too bad, but this is going to take a minute for sure. Ah, uh, and then Bob's brain keeps hitting the little flies as well. He just attacks to the right for no reason. That's kind of odd, I guess, but fair enough. There we go. I guess it's the one red fly who's trying to get rid of it with tech, but... I should really be trying to first just throw Bob's brain in a corner or something, I guess. Not, not again. There we go. Managed to hit with Bob's brain properly. Very good. He just will not stop jumping either. Come on. You destroyed both flies, so that's good. I, God, that's, that's dumb. That's a bad hit right there. Ugh. Should be using my bombs more than I'm thinking about it, but then my follower there shot my thing away, which I'm not appreciative of. I understand that he just shoots randomly, but I'm still not very happy about it. Where is my super secret room? No idea. More ghosts? It's fine. Not the worst thing in the world. It's a little annoying for sure, but it's not the end of the world. A soul heart? Not bad. Gonna leave that there for now, I think. Just for the sake of um, having some health available. If I manage to find some red hearts somewhere. I'm just gonna try and bomb this as well. No super secret room. Probably near the boss room somewhere, which wouldn't be too strange. Very good. Two full red hearts. <sighs> one hour, one minute, 59 seconds later. We almost have something. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> I don't know if I actually might, like tried to bomb this place. I'm just doing that real quickly right now. The two of clubs is getting to the point where I can barely start using that as well. Not quite gonna open golden chest just yet. Because occasionally this guy drops a trinket that allows you to open them for free. So first just gonna spend until I'm at like... 10 coins, I would say, is probably not a bad place to end. Maybe a little bit less. Like 8. Let's go with 8. Uh, let's go with this, actually. This is a lot of golden chests. Full health. Oh my god. There it is. And more tier 8. A lot more tier 8. Okay. That's good. That's very good. And a health up. Oh my god. This was the dream. This was... This was the one. The one guy that had all the things. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm going to leave all this here for now. As weird as it may seem. Yeah, that seems about right. And that destroyed him. Unidentified pill with X-Lax. Yeah, I'm going to leave all this here for now. I'm just going to try to clear the rest of the floor for a bit. Even though it's probably better to just turn all that into blood clots and then go full on offensive mode. But I think I'd rather just play it as safely as I can. But ah, oh, look at this tier right now. I'm finally doing something. <laughs> Can't take that trinket, unfortunately, because my tier 8 is largely based on my singular trinket right there. Yeah, this is manageable. It's not ideal, but... Oh god, what? Oh, spiky rock. Whoops. Mustn't do that. <laughs> yeah, not great. Um, still some chance for my super secret room to be near this room. So let's just check that real quick. Nope. Can I see what card this is? A little bit cheaty for sure. Yeah, I need to actually get it. <sighs> Flight would have been nice as well. Maybe a hangman card. Something like that. Ooh, that's a lot of blue flames. 
could be good. There is a boss room as well, which is not bad either. We have a soul heart on this floor. I think if I line it up like this, I should be where a room could be. Obviously not there because that's not how rooms work. Okay, and another eternal heart. Hmm. I could go into my curse room, but I don't think that's worthwhile. I think we're gonna go with the let's just turn everything into attack strategy. There is the flat worm, which I don't think affects me right now. Alright, we're gonna sit here for a moment. We're gonna use that full health pill once I have an army. Not sure if this is the best idea, but it's a, it, it's one that will probably work at least, so... There we go. Whoops. And let's go get that soul heart, let's go get that eternal heart, and then do the Satan boss fight with a decent amount of health. For once. <laughs> should get, yeah, mm, should probably keep the eternal heart in the room for now. But the rest, yeah, this will this will be okay. Two, three, four. Very good. Bob's brain de dealing some decent damage there as well. This I'm not too happy about. Yep, can't really do much there. Oh, I'm shooting so quick. I'm actually not used to how quick I'm shooting right now. <laughs> oh god. It's brimstone. Yeah, don't do that. Let's bring stone again. Yeah, my damage is okay now, actually. Just because my tier rate is so much higher, I think. <laughs> uh, hoping to do as much damage as I can here. Yay, go away. I can't deal with you right now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Eternal heart. I have a lot of hearth containers, so I can at least take a devil deal, probably. Oh my god. Well, let's just do a tainted Eve run. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be easy. Just <laughs> You have so much attack as this character. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Not you. Hmm. Well then. Conjoin could be good. The, the nail is tempting, but not great. None of this is really that interesting. I'm going to use these two clubs, actually. A little bit prematurely than I really needed to, but that's okay. The the, peer, the, mm, the Ouija board is actually really tempting for like stuff like this as well, because my main problem in this entire run has been a lot of blood clots that cannot actually shoot anything because a singular rock is in the way. So I don't hate this. Plus I have a lot of health anyway, like a lot of red hearts there, so might as well try that. There we go. Shot speed, <laughs> great. Oh, very good with tech. Very much nothing. Uh, throw Bob's brain in there. Just throw him in the mix somewhere. He'll probably hit something, you would imagine. There we go. Poisoned. Super greed, so that's good. That's a hit that I didn't mean to take, so that's less good. Hoping to have Bob's brain back in a second. There he is. <laughs> it really is my main <laughs> source of damage still. We're in, this <laughs> we're in the dark room, and I'm still just throwing Bob's brain at everything carefully. Uh, it happens on occasion, but it's not... Ideal. <laughs> it's not ideal indeed. I don't care for that too much. I mean, it's, it's genuinely tempting, but I, I kind of hope to get another full health pill. Plus, I mean, then you have rooms like this where everyone's flying anyway, so what are you gonna do? Oop. Oh god, that's so much damage. Let's just destroy that for potentially a soul heart. Nope. There is a red heart waiting for me. God, if you, like, also, if you just do this run with a leech, then it's already so much better as well. Because the leech healing you throughout the entire run 
is so much extra damage. If you get regenerating health, if you get Charm of the Vampire, like there's so many good items on this character that can just heal you back up. And then there's also just so much garbage that doesn't really do anything for you, as it turns out. And then, just a second, I forgot about Bob's brain, and uh, another heart is lost. It is unfortunate, but somewhat unavoidable <laughs> at this stage. I hope we get a Delirium Portal if we somehow manage to beat Mega Satan. That would be a trip. <laughs> that would be a trip indeed. I'd be so happy to live that life. Alright, we hit both of them because they happen to jump near each other. We've done a lot of bloat practice recently, so this should be okay. Theoretically, it's a big room as well, so I really just need to shoot in that rough direction and we'll probably be fine. Plus we have Bob's rotten head, or Bob's brain now. Still managed, still managed to catch a tear off guard there. Very silly. Another red heart, very good. Any red heart is a blessing right about now. <laughs> uh, how good is this actually? Like obviously I don't really want to have that because I'd have to keep my item charges and that's not, just not what I want right now, but I am tempted by it for sure. Just, I'm curious if it's better tier rate than Cancer, but I don't know. I don't know. It is a good trinket for sure. And I could genuinely use a stat up in most fields. Because <laughs> my damage is 6, which is not ideal either at this stage of the run. It's above base damage. Okay, that's interesting. But let's check this out for a moment here. 224 to 138. Yeah, so that's worse tier 8, but more damage. But not that much more damage either. Health up. Okay. Could be good. It's better than nothing in any case. This isn't good for my tier 8 either, but... It gives me a bit more focus in a way, so I can appreciate that at least. That's good. It's a soul heart. We'll just leave that there for now. Oh, try and give me a dead cat. I swear to God. <laughs> I know you want to, but please just... Oh my God. Calm down. This is not reasonable. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Just please take the rotten head. Okay, no bl dead cat, surprisingly enough. I was ready for it, but... It is a possible drop from that boss. <laughs> Something that I definitely wouldn't be able to use in any stretch of the imagination either, but... It would have made me laugh, probably. <laughs> just need to hit one, yeah. Then the second one can just be a bomb. There we go. <sighs> Slowly but surely, let's wait for our good friend Bob. That's not terrible of a room. We're getting okay rooms for the most part. That double uh, pride, is it? I don't forget. I forget which one it is. The big one, the big pink one. That one was pretty rough, but other than that, it's been okay. One's already dead, almost. There we go. Check the other one. There we go as well. Huge growth. That's good. That is a solid card for Mega Satan. Why haven't I used this pill yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to put that in front of the door here so I don't forget about it. But Yeah, genuinely not bad. Put that there. Drop it. Drop it. There you go. That is something I'd like to have. If we can get Pyromaniac. <laughs> you know, just a little thing. But if we could just get a little bit of Pyromaniac right about now, that would also be okay. Just one little Pyromaniac drop. It would finish the run so much quicker than the nonsense that I'm currently trying to do here. Not sure where I should be looking for my super secret room. This sucks. Big, big old butts right here. Uh, so... Not great, not great. Uh, this is a lot of dodging. Of rocks that move somewhat randomly. So I don't care for that. We are dealing decent damage at least, but... 
it's just not very guaranteed that we're gonna get through this without taking damage, especially when they drop creep all over the place, but that doesn't help either. Surprised that didn't damage me, if I'm honest. Ah, oh, but these jumps are horrendous. Oh, look at that. Just try to get bombs close to them as they jump, really. That's been at least something of a strategy, but it's not... Ideal. I'm not shooting the same one over and over either, which is not working out very well. So I need to focus one down before I go before the next one, ideally. Okay, we got one. No, god. Ah. I mean, we are getting to the point that I'm gonna get that knife. <laughs> got the creep as well. I'm surprised that's getting me so much right now, but it is. So this is only one left now, so that's... Vaguely manageable. Come on. God, look at that movement. Okay, um... Another health up. Sure, I guess. Uh, there is a battery waiting for me way back there, which I saved because I didn't have a full charge yet, so I might just go back for that real quick. I'm actually tempted to take just, uh floating body for the sake of just having a bit more of anything. Another health up. Okay. Um, well, I guess I might as well then. I'm not really losing anything on it. Tempted to take the nail just to have a use of the nail, have like half a black heart. It is an extra hit that I currently do not have. Let's just do that. Uh, keep charging this item, I think. I'm not... I should be looking a bit more eagerly for my super secret room, I think. I think I've checked all these rocks, these walls before, I mean. But I'm just gonna do a double check here real quick, just in case. There's a lot of explosions that happened here already, yeah. But any one of those good super secret rooms could also just be so good. I should probably have one blood clot, actually, because then... Uh, it's still the same amount of hits for me to die, but it's just a little bit of extra damage. That's probably not a terrible idea from right now. <laughs> not picking up that battery just yet. Uh, I will get it in a minute, but... Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, this is going to be a rough one when I'm escapes, but... Fortunately, they're being nice. <laughs> one black heart, leaving that, I think. I don't have room for another soul heart, actually, so I might as well just grab it. This isn't a great room for sure. Very easy to take damage here because there's just a lot going on. Uh, they can do brimstone attacks when you're below them. And then they can also just be really quick, unfortunately. And they keep they make the whole room dark as well, which sucks, but fortunately, one of them's dead already. So now it's just the other one that we have to deal with. The bombs I should be using a bit more for sure. Ooh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be using my bombs a bit more for offensively because that was scary. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Never had such a slowly but somewhat careful run go <laughs> in a bit. Uh, but that's how it goes on occasion. It's very rare, I feel, that you get a run this bad, but. It does happen. This isn't even the hardest character. <laughs> okay, two. Look at that. That's so much health. Oh, that's so good. Okay, let's just throw a couple bombs at these guys. Because that's pretty much an instant death on those enemies. There we go. Speed down. Very good. I'm just going to drop that so I don't use it by accident. Bomb. Um, okay, super secret room, please. Um, well, it is a room. Ace of diamonds, it's not really anything anymore. Box of spiders. <laughs> ah, God, please, though. <laughs> it's so rough. <laughs> it's such a rough run. <laughs> I've done almost the entire floor and I have nothing to show for it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh well, we're getting through it. The lamb fight is going to be interesting, but... Here we are. 
<laughs> Let's just do our best. Uh huh. Just stay away from him. Shoot bombs on occasion. They're not really damaging him that much, but it's some damage. Bob's, rot Bob's brain occasionally as well. Watch out for the homing effect of these tears. Don't stand next to the wall because he'll just dash into you. That's a brimstone attack, which is fine. A lot of nastiness going on here. Ooh, boy. I really want to have as much health as possible at the end of this. Really, I just want to win this fight. I guess that's like priority number one. <laughs> yeah, I did take that hit there, which is unfortunate. Uh-huh. There he goes. They're nearly dead here. Both of them, actually. There we go. No, I don't think I want to do a victory lap. Thank you. Um, okay, so what do we got? We... <laughs> I have a little battery. Please be full health. <laughs> I'll be lovely. Uh, get out of here. Are you a wizard? Am I a wizard? I don't know anymore. You know what? If anything, we have cleared that much. I will take this. I'll take the nail for the fight. I'll take huge growth. It's not bad, actually. All these things combined. That's actually a decent amount of damage, I think. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm really hoping. <laughs> uh, what was over here? What was the item room? This item again? Oh, yeah, lemonade. <laughs> that doesn't really do that much, unfortunately. Okay, um, let's get one clot, because I don't think the Eternal Heart's really going to do anything otherwise. Let's go. Huge growth. They're big lasers. Base speed, pretty much, which I'm not loving, but fair enough. And let's just do our best here. We have more health than we had that one time with the other character. But we also don't have a knife, so... It's not the best situation. We do have piercing, so that's good. My tears do 16 damage each. So that's good. It's a lot of damage, actually. Uh, deal with that one first because of the creep. Yeah, this is okay. Huge growth is actually, like, so important. <laughs> uh huh. Please, no. Oh, I was really hoping that wouldn't hit me. <laughs> But fair enough, we got rid of the horse. So that's okay, this is okay, everything is okay, we're, we're fine. I think my clot died, but you know what? That's fine, this isn't great. I could have actually just placed a bomb, then he probably would have stopped chasing me as well, but I didn't think of that in time. This is okay as well, just keep doing this forever. Brimstone. There we go, slowly but surely. God, huge growth is did so much extra damage actually. Like it's unreal how much extra damage that has given me. Because I can actually reasonably do this. <laughs> Some of these enemies are actually dying when I shoot them. It's unreal. It's not really been the case for the rest of this run. <laughs> ah. Alright. Deal with this. Lust is gonna be a bit annoying. Yeah, that creep is not easy to see right now. Not sure what that movement was from. Less there, but fair enough. Uh, just throw some bombs around, I think. I'd like to have Bob's brain available for this. Not sure what hit me there. I saw a creep uh, over... Th that's my creep, so that's not... That's not gonna hit me. I don't know. Don't worry about it. Just keep focusing on this fight. Uh, okay. Mega Satan's back at it again. We have health. We only have angels to deal with and then the remainder of Mega Satan. Which is fine. Angels aren't too bad. <laughs> Plus they're dying pretty quickly actually. It really is that wave, wave with the sins that is weirdly so much more difficult than all the other waves in this fight. <laughs> uh, there's just so much going on during that wave which is making it really dangerous. Just gonna sit here and attack for a while. Grimstone. Just taking it easy. 
No worries. Just zapping away. <laughs> if delirium opens, I'm just leaving, I think. Because this is a miserable experience. <laughs> I kind of want this run to be over, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a bit much. To say the least, it's been a bit much for sure. And I've... Well, I'm surprised that dodge works out. <laughs> I, that's not how you're supposed to dodge that, but I happen to go through the center of it somehow, so... Very good. Uh, this is another one of those attacks. The fact that I'm big right now doesn't help either. That's what huge growth does, unfortunately. I think I'm fine. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Genuinely surprised that some of these attacks are not hitting, but fair enough, I'll take it. I'm just gonna sit here and zap my zaps away until this boss is hopefully dead. I really would like to win this run though, because I think the unlock for this is really funny. <laughs> and I kinda just wanna have it. Ah, the skull is very cracked. Please. Please. So close now. There we go. Please don't tempt me with a delirium portal. Okay, thank God. <laughs> My God, that was an absolute nightmare of a run. But we have managed to beat Mega Satan, which was the original goal of this. But this took an hour and a half. This shouldn't be this difficult as this character. But it was just such an absolute nightmare. <sighs> <laughs> well, that was a run. We made it to the end. I'm done recording for today, I think, because that was exhausting. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it so far. Next time we play, we might see some horse pills. Those are pretty fun. They're just big pills, and the announcer gets really loud, and I think it's hilarious. But I <sighs> hope you enjoyed it so far. Next time we play, different run is a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.